Anyway, before I let you both go, what are your big predictions for the year ahead, Caroline? Oh, well, hopefully we'll have a royal visit later in the year to coincide with COAG. Oh. Uh, I think federal politics is going to get very spicy this year, Gary. Um, as we close in on an election, we have three state elections as well. Um, and I think the, the governments in the Northern Territory and Queensland would be very lucky to survive. Uh, and the economy is pretty flat. And it'll be interesting to see whether it remains sluggish or, or whether, you know, it does take a bit more of a dive. We know everyone's expecting uh, unemployment to tick up a little bit. It'll be interesting to see what impact that that has on the broader economy. Yeah, if the economy doesn't crash completely, Albo will take uh, the credit. Carolee, have you got any predictions, any bold predictions for 2024? I have it. I have indeed. I'm sure Twitter will now come alive. I think Donald Trump will be returned for a second term as the United States President on the 5th of November this year. I know that on previous programs, Gary, he's provided a lot of, a lot of talking points. I do actually think against all odds, like last time, he will get back in. Um, domestically, also, I've got to say, I've heard Bronwyn before talk about it and also Keith Pitt, but I do think that we do need to have the nuclear debate and really have a very, very proper, sensible conversation in the country, because if we're wanting to go to zero emissions, the nuclear energy debate really is the only way of getting it there. So I think that'll be there. And as Caroline did say, cost of living, well, I don't know. I mean, they're predicting rate cuts in the second half of this year, but we've got to be able to get to the second half first, and a lot of Australians are doing it incredibly tough out there with cost of living. As you said, with all those charges, the increases to welfare, that's all well and good, and it's great. No one denies anybody, but it's really just playing catch-up because everything else is going up. The bowels of the yep. groceries, everything that you could imagine. But Everything. let's also hope for Indeed. world peace.